Hello friends, welcome back to another episode here on the channel. I hope you're all doing great and for anyone new to the channel, my name is Lee, also known as Osiris. In today's episode, we are going into week 10. It is the final week of the schedule matches in the X9 Draft League and we are going up against Necra and her Shoutcast Sylvians. So if we hop over first, we can take a look at Necra's team and check out what she'll be bringing to the party this week. It's a very tough team and obviously with the uh, current standing as well i'll throw those up on the screen right now so you can take a look at where everyone's rankings are and how we're looking going into this final week because it's this this is it really if we win we've got a good chance of or a slim chance i think of making playoffs if necro wins then she's kind of guaranteed it so there's a lot on the line for both of us going into this one obviously i've done commentating with rose before so it's exciting to kind of finish off the whole x9 league like this if it does end up like this um gonna be very tough though so like i say we're 5-4 at the minute if we can take 6-4 is uh after this week that would be incredible um but it's gonna be very tough right it's gonna be really tough so you can see now i'll throw necro's team up on the screen and you can see that she's got a she's had an amazing draft i think one of the best drafts i think when she was doing the draft itself i was like wow yeah, she got some really, really good Pokemon in here, and it was very tough to kind of uh, build against coming into this week. Uh, you got the Glastria, the Excadrill, there are kind of big picks. Then the Gothitelle, Volcarona, Bronzong, Aerodactyl, Obstagoon, Melotic, Sylveon, Rotomo, and Hippowdon. So she's got the Sand Core, which isn't the best of things against a kind of a Sun team. It's kind of what you would kind of expect to do very well against uh, a, sun, a Sun team. But of course, there's no Tyranitar in there, thankfully. But you know, the one thing i would say that does jump out to me throughout is there's a lot of pokemon in here that are going to be like heavy hitters like the glastria like the aerodactyl and the excadrill have i said excadrill aerodactyl glastria excadrill all susceptible to intimidate so scrafty's great in this matchup but the thing is you've got competitive pokemon in gothitelle so we can't ignore that uh, that could be something that we see um, instead of the, the Shadow Tag. Uh, there's a the Melotic as well. And then you've got Obstagoon with its uh, Defiant ability that it gets access to as well. So there's a lot of issues around bringing Intimidate and Scrafty. But I do feel like I need to. I need to uh, just to support the rest of the team. Um, what am I expecting that to bring? Honestly, Hippowder makes a lot of sense to disrupt the weather. Aerodactyl, I think, is a guaranteed. Uh, I could see Bronzong Volcarona coming as well. Um, Melotic, I'd say it, it, it's kind of difficult because I think it's obvious that I'm bringing Venus all right. Uh, and I think the same for Sylvian. Um, and I think maybe probably Excadrill Glastria probably rounding off but i wouldn't be surprised if we saw gothitelle anyway so that's her team uh what we'll do now is we'll jump over into our game and i'll give you a rundown of what we're running this week we've got the the venusaur uh opted for weather ball here can take advantage of the sandstorm as well if it's in effect especially against things like volcarona that we'll otherwise find a little bit more tricky to uh to deal with um Ideally, we don't really want to be going head to head against Volcarona with Venusaur, but against most other things, as long as we've got Intimidate support, we should be all right with it. Uh, we've got the Mimikyu here. We need Trick Room, I think, to support the Torkoal or reverse it. Uh, Taunt is necessary for things like Gothitelle shutting it down, Melotic, stop it setting up. Will O Wisp is going to be super handy against things like Excadrill, uh, and Phantom Force was the move that I kind of opted to, to pick here. Uh, we've got Torkoal. No fire type move. I don't feel like we need it. And I think this set will be way more beneficial uh, than anything else. Because we can put things to sleep with Yawn. Uh, we might see safety goggles all over the shop on Pokemon. Could see Stray. Uh, things like Lum as well. But I honestly feel like the Iron Defense Body Press. We're not at any risk of not being able to hit anything on her team with the Body Press. So I feel a little bit more open to doing that. You know, we don't want to get caught out like we did against Bryce. Um, and then the Charizard, it's coming back this week. We have got the Charlie Berry on it. Got to watch out for the Aerodactyl. Obviously, our nerve stops us using that. Uh, but if we can remove the Aerodactyl early on, the Charlie Berry could come in handy against things like Excadrill, Hippowdon later on in the game. So uh, this that's the reason why we've got it on there. And then we've got Scrafty, Bulk Up set. I feel like we're going to have room to utilize the Bulk Up set. Got Citrus Berry on it because uh, the Leftovers is on Torkoal. And then rounding off with our favorite... He's back, Jolteon, with the Life Orb, uh, just because it gives us a, such a good way to deal with Aerodactyl. It gives us a way to one-shot things like Gothitelle, things like Bronzong even, uh, with the Max Phantasm. So, 
that's kind of the team in a nutshell. Um, as I say, I'm really kind of nervous about coming into this one this week. I think because there's a lot on the line. Obviously, we could have done ourselves a lot of favors in previous weeks where we lost and just picked up a little bit of a win and we didn't perform very well against Colin last week. So got to come back stronger this week. Um, I'm looking forward to it. We'll uh, we'll get into the battle in a couple of seconds, friends. So sit tight while we'll hook up with Necra and we'll get into game one. Okay, we're hooked up and we are just getting the rules sorted. Uh, I will decide myself and uh, I will select the correct rules this week. Series 9, which I forgot last week. So, again, apologies to Colin. Select our team, ready to go, locking in. Good luck to Necra. And obviously, for everyone watching this video, please make sure you check out everything over on Necra's channel. All her socials will be linked down below in the description. It's always great to get this perspective from the other player as well, uh, especially because there's such high stakes on this one, you know? So, what have we got? Let's double check what's missing. So, we've got the Aerodactyl, the Excadrill, the Glastria, the Rotomore, Volcarona, and the Gothitelle. Ah, you know. It would make sense to be Shadow Tag, Gothitelle, and Competitive to take advantage of the um, the, the Scrafty Intimidate, you know? Uh, okay, game plan, game plan, game plan. I think what we'll do is we'll go Jolteon. Because I just worry so much about the Aerodactyl, right? I really do. Um, this could be a total throw-off. I think Scrafty up top. I think Torkoal. We leave our trick room and we go Venu. And let's not pull the trigger so quickly on the Jolteon. I think that's what we got to do. I think we just we don't pull the trigger too quick on going Dynamax with Jolteon. I think because we want to try and max Venu if we can. I think that's the that's the that's the goal. Uh, Charizard would be very good here. You know, Charizard would be amazing if, if we didn't have, um, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? Charizard would be amazing if we can get rid of the Aerodactyl. If we can get rid of the Aerodactyl. But we'll see how this first game plays out. We've got to just take our time, okay? We got, we got this game to kind of get our feelers out. Big high stakes. Just got to take it one turn at a time and try and get the result in this first one. Excadrill and Aerodactyl. Okay. Well, it's not so bad because I feel like Aerodactyl maxes to get the sand up, but then Excadrill could just max itself to get the sand up itself, you know? Um, Got to watch out for dual wing beat on the Aerodactyl. And there is the white herb on the Excadrill. So, um, it's dangerous switching anything into Jolteon, right? We could fake out and just max and go after Aerodactyl. We could totally do that, but then we probably lose. We probably lose uh, Jolteon here. We could detect. We could detect, but then we risk the. Mm, I think we do detect, and I think we switch. Do I switch Venu? No, I switch Torkoal in. I'm going to switch Torkoal in for Scrafty, and then we can cycle back the Intimidate the next turn. Okay. At least we know the White Herbs there. <clears throat> Let's see if anything Max is here. Maybe not. Maybe we just see a Tailwind from the Aerodactyl, which would, would not be ideal. But again, it wouldn't be the worst. We are seeing the Max, so... Is it going to be Aero or is it going to be Excadrill? I feel like Excadrill is going to be the thing that maxes here. Thing is, now we got our sun up. It's going to be the, the Aerodactyl. And the problem with switching in something like Torkoal here is the fact that uh, they're probably going to overwrite our sun, right? And we might just see an Earthquake. At least Jolteon should get away scot-free this turn, right? Max Airstream, not ideal in the slightest. We take that pretty well with Torkoal. We're going to see an Earthquake come out now, I think, from the Excadrill. Yeah. So we're in a bit of trouble. Ooh, high horsepower. We get away with that. We get away with that scot-free. We do, really. We really do. Um, okay, so we can get Scrafty back onto the field now in the place of Torkoal, I feel. Um, <clears throat> or we protect Torkoal. 
and get Scrafty back on the field in place of Jolteon. Um, and keep Jolteon for later on in this match. Because I feel now we're more than we're more likely to see Max Rockfall, high horsepower. Uh I think that the Scrafty switch is pretty the thing is I'm kinda tempted to go for an iron defense here. Cause I think we'll take the double up from mm, no, I don't think we will. I think we're going to see Max Rockfall. I think we see Max Rockfall. But it could be into... Do I take the leap? The leap of faith? No, I think we just... We play it a bit safe. We just stole out these max turns. Don't need to make risks right now, right? That's the thing. We don't need to take the risks. We don't need to take the risks. We, uh, we need to just play this slowly, slowly, slowly does it. We lose Torkoal. Then the glass gym matchup gets way, way more difficult. We don't want to lose uh, Scrafty either. Max Airstream. Ah, that's a, we, we don't want to see that. We don't want to see that. Are they doubling up into that Jolteon slot, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, doubling up. And we don't get a Citrus Berry either, which is not ideal. Um, and now I think they double up into Torkoal, but I think we got room to do this. We could yawn as well, you know. I think we just iron defense because Torkoal in a great spot. If it gets an iron defense up, then we can just start body pressing everything. This is the Aerodactyl's last turn. Excadrill's minus one. I think you go Airstream into... Scrafty, and I think you go high horsepower into Torkoal. Although we could see Max Rockfall high horsepower and get rid of Torkoal. Try and go for it, you know. Excadrill going to protect on the, the potential fake out coming out, which is perfect for us. So it means, yeah, okay, well, we're, we're going to get slammed here, but we take that pretty well. We take that pretty well. Con all things considering, right? And now Jolteon in a great spot. Well, it's not in a great spot, you know? The thing is... <laughs> I think we go after the Excadrill now. Or the Body Press. I think we protect Jolteon. Because the thing is... I think you go high horsepower into Jolteon. May switch, may switch out as well. That's the other thing. But the Jolteon, we could max, right? And we would take a high horsepower from the Excadrill. I just don't, I think we detect here. And I think we go body press into Excadrill. Because we know it's got the white, the, the white herb. And I'm pretty confident now that we'll be able to take a high horsepower and rock slide. If that's what they've got. So we need to be mindful as well about Venusaur coming in. If we want the sun up, do we want the sun up or not? It depends. It depends. The sun's going to be valuable to us, especially for Weather Ball, if something like the Glass is in the back. But we do have a Citrus Berry to proc as soon as the Aerodactyl goes down here. Um, yeah, the Aerodactyl's going to switch out. That's fine. Glass are going to come in. Okay. That's still all right. That's all right. Because if Rose goes for the high horsepower here into the Jolteon, that's perfect for us, actually. Now we get the body press. We'll get rid of that Excadrill, which is ideal. And we could double up into Glastria this next turn because you've got to expect maybe it's got a Salt Vest. It would make sense in this team. You know, it could have weakness policy, but the thing is... And the speeds are reset now. So, like, the Aerodactyl coming back in, it's going to speed tie with the Jolteon. And the Glastria is not really as much of a threat anymore at all. And we still got Scrafty in the back. So we do have that plus for us. So I really wanted to bring Rhyperia to this match. Um, but I just felt like I couldn't ignore the Aerodactyl threat. I think the Aerodactyl is so much of a threat. Like it's, it's too much to ignore. Now Aerodactyl could protect here. It could protect, right? And the smart thing for us to do would be probably... Get Scrafty onto the field, get the Intimidate, um, and then and then go 
body press into Aerodactyl and that will allow us to potentially get a Citrus Berry, but I don't know if that's going to happen. We could see the Aerodactyl just protect here as well, you know. So the Glastria has got a free shot at Jolteon. Okay, there's a the Tailwind, which is fine. Horsepower. Okay, that's perfect. That's that's literally perfect. Because if we remove the Aerodactyl here, we get our Citrus Berry. Yep, okay. That's excellent. A Nerve gone. That was the most scary ability as well, you know? Coming into this match, I was like, uh, a Nerve just stops everything. Like, Charty Berry, everything. Okay, so, Call Call. Doing the biz for us so far. Um... But whittling away with its health. So not in the, the best spot. And we'll be able to see what the last Pokemon is now. But we do have active fake out as well. So it's Volcarona. Okay. Um, hmm. We don't want to allow it to get... Uh, we do not want to allow it to get... Uh, a Quiver Dance. Because that would be super bad. That would be really, really, really bad. I don't know if a, a Body Press... I mean, we could fake out and yawn it. Kind of tempting, but I don't want to give the Glastria kind of a free free ride either. I think we body press Glastria, fake out Volcarona. I don't want it to get the the uh, the Quiver Dance up. Says fake out. Even if we get burned here, it's fine. It's it's super fine, which we don't. Another high horsepower coming out. We'll take that like a champ. We'll be able to see what item this this Glastria has got. You know. But it is enough to take it down, so it comes down to just the Volk versus everything else. All right. Well, um, I wonder how much a body press is going to do. I think we just crunch body press and just try and catch the Quiver Dance if it comes out, because the Quiver Dance could still be very dangerous from this position. Um. I mean, could you horn as well? We could yawn. But we give away the yawn. Do we want to give it away? Yeah, I think we yawn. I think we yawn in case we can get it off. I don't expect us to get an attack off heat wave coming out. Do we take it? No, nah, we don't take it with either. But that's kind of fine because now we get Venusaur in. We get Jolteon in. Um, Sandstorm subsides. Oh, we needed it for the weather ball. We needed it for the weather ball. Um, <laughs> okay, well, it's kind of all right. Venusaur should take, should take, Venusaur should take a heat wave. I'm just going to max and max lightning the Volcarona and that should wrap this one up. Yeah, very close towards the end. Um, but Tolkol doing all the good things here for us. So let's see how powerful is this Jolteon? Is it, it going to be able to knock it out? I'm pretty confident it will like jolteon with a life orb is scarily strong and we should take at least a heat wave oh it's scarfed 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 volcarona it's the burn scarf volcarona it's a nice shout but we get oh we don't we just miss just miss just miss the knockout but the sludge bomb should be enough to take it so We'll be able to wrap this one up, which is a little bit relieving, um, but still doesn't make it any easier because we still got to win one more, which is um, not going to be easy, especially against this team. So I think we did well in stalling out the Aerodactyl. And like I said at the time, I think we didn't take any like huge risks um, that would have put us in like an awkward position. You know, we just played it pretty straight down the line when we didn't really need to do anything else. So we'll play the same rules again and we'll get into game two and then it I don't know. Do I expect Rose to change things up? I don't know if our game plan was like too far wrong. Um, I really like the white herb on the Excadrill. I kind of hate it. Like I, I hate it for myself, but I really like it as an option because it really makes Excadrill a lot more dangerous. Could we see something different in this game? Potentially, I think 
Mimikyu could be a shout. Um, I think Scrafty's imperative to us here. Like, Scrafty's so important to us. Um, we know that the Aerodactyl's not sashed either. So I think we got the option where we could potentially... We could potentially go Jolteon and Scrafty. But then I think it forces the Excadrill to maybe max there rather than anything else. I mean, we could go Venus or Scrafty, switch straight out into Torkoal, and then just go after the Excadrill. Um, and start getting that damage onto the field. Kind of the same same four, but a little bit different. Get what I mean? I think, yeah, we'll go Scrafty, we'll go Venu, we'll go Torkoal. And do we want Mimikyu here, or do we want... Actually, Jolteon again, because Jolteon... I think we need Jolt... Uh, do we need Jolteon? We kind of don't need it. I think maybe, like, Charizard could be the one. Let's bring Charizard. Let's bring Char. Because, like, Volcarona Scarfed is not going to really threaten Charizard. Rotom Maw is not going to want to face Charizard. Excadrill in the sun, don't want to face Charizard. So... Could work. It could work. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Aerodactyl Volcarona. Okay, that's actually not ideal. Not ideal <laughs> because the Volcarona causes us a few issues. They're like Venusaur, not in the best of spots here at all. But. We can fake out the Volcarona, right? We can fake the Volcarona out and we can go after the Aerodactyl if we want. They're going to go max Airstream, regardless. But we could start that residual damage, you know? That's the big thing. I think Scrafty is really important to us here, but I think in this, this instance, it's probably quite important to kind of stop the Volcarona attacking. And we could just literally go for G-Max Vine Lash into the Aerodactyl. Um... They're minus one. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's pull the trigger. Let's go full Venu mode, mode here. Uh, and the Volcarona scarfed. Watch it max here. Watch it max. But I think they're going to... Well, what do they go for? Do they go after the Scrafty here? Because it was, so, it was so frustrating to deal with in that first game. You kind of want to remove it as soon as you can. We'll take an Airstream for sure. And it does potentially mean that, you know, Venusaur would get a free free turn here, technically, which is which is exactly what we want. Um, fake out, ooh, and there's a flame body. It's a risk we had to take. We had to take it. We didn't have to take it, but I think it, it, it was worth it. Dual wing beat. Okay, that's fine. Um, but no tailwind, so that makes things a little bit better, a little bit easier for us for sure, because, um. Okay, can we take the Aerodactyl down though? That's the thing. I don't think we can. Okay, so I think what we'll do now is we'll switch Torkoal in and we will go for G Max. Well, well no, we'll go for the, for the Weather Ball. We'll go for the Weather Ball. We should outspeed Volcarona in the sun. Let's just see, clicking into that. Yeah. We sh this should be enough to get the Volcarona. Because we can outspeed, like, I, I specifically sped Venusaur, so we get the jump on plus one Volcarona. I can't remember if that was modest or timid. I'm pretty sure it would have done timid. I'm pretty sure. Soon find out. Ah, we get it. Okay, yeah, so we did do the right calcs here. That should... Oh, it doesn't. But we will be able to clear the field after this. There's a Tailwind. That's fine. You have to kind of contend with that. That's all right. Uh, heat Wave. Yeah. Do we take it? Take it with Venu. So we've got one more turn with Venu. Um, we kind of... Well, there is going to be the issue of Sand. And I think Excadrill is the big problem for us now. Of course. Uh, okay. Well, Tailwind up. Not ideal. But... Torkoal can come in and just get some health back because that's what we want. Glass, it's going to be Glastria in Excadrill, I think. Excadrill. 
Yeah. And Glastria. Oh, we've got the towel. Oh, we can't switch. We cannot switch. But we should outspeed the Excadrill with Venusaur. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Of course we don't. They've got a Tailwind. They're not plus one. Let's stop talking silly talk here. Uh, what we could try and do is get a Yawn off into Excadrill, but there's an active Fake Out, which makes things a little bit more tricky here. Way more tricky. Um, Excadrill just targets Venusaur. We can't really do anything. I think we need to let Venusaur go down here so we can we can switch something in like Scrafty and get that Intimidate. Yeah, because Excadrill here are going to go to town. Unless you target the Torkoal. But I don't I don't feel like you do. Uh, depends how fast the Gothitelle is here. Is it competitive as well? It could be. We should have checked to see if we could have switched because switching here would have been so good even if we were proccing a, a competitive um, ability on the Gothitelle. Max Rock 4, yeah. Makes sense. Unless you go after the Torkoal. Yeah, you do. Okay. And it's going to be... It's going to be a big, fat... <laughs> no good attack into the Excadrill and we'll lose Venusaur here, potentially. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a fast... It's a fast Gothitelle. Okay. It's competitive. It's 100% comp competitive. 100% competitive. We're going to proc it. I think we can potentially do something here. I think. I think we switch in Scrafty now. I think we've got to make a brave switch from Torkoal to Charizard and hope that Ross goes Max Quake into the Torkoal. And then we can switch Scrafty out to our... Let's see, is it competitive? If not, then we're a bit knackered. We're a bit knackered. But it would make sense if it was super fast. Now there's White Herb. It's Shadow Tag. It's not ideal. Um, okay. We can try and bulk up, I guess. We can try and bulk up. Can we switch? Let's just see if we can. I don't think we're going to be able to. No, we can't. We can't. We're just making sure. Okay, well, I think now we just body press and I think we bulk up. Or we could fake out into Gothitelle here just to stop it attacking this turn. Um, yeah, I mean, let's just do that. They're going to go after Torkoal anyway. They got help in hand. We could have bulked up. Okay, well... The extra damage, I guess, is going to be useful. Depends what the extra drill goes for here. Max Quake. It's gone after the Torkoal. I, I doubt we take this. It's neutral. No. Okay. Well, we need to just stall out these Tailwind turns because Charizard can still win this for us. Except the special defense is massive now on that Excadrill. Is that the last turn or have we got one more turn? One more max turn. I think one more max turn is what we've got. Okay, the Vine Lash coming in. Super, super useful. There's the Citrus Berry. Okay. Right, well, we, we bulk up next turn. We bulk up. Regardless, whatever we do. We still got Citrus Berry. We could still do this with Scrafty. We could still do this with Scrafty. Okay, so they've got one more max turn. I think in one more turn of Tailwind, we have to protect Zard. We're going to take a max Rockfall for our troubles, and we got to hope that the Charty Berry comes to our comes to our rescue here. Uh, yeah, let's bulk up because I think Scrafty could be a win con in this. Maybe depends what the Gothitelle's got as well. So we know it's got Help in Hand, Fake Out, Psychic. Has it got Hypnosis? So there's a helping hand. I'm gonna go after the Zard. It makes sense to just to get rid of it. It's a big threat. Now they're going after the the Scrafty. Okay, that's a really nice play from Ros. I like a super nice play. Yeah, and that pretty much all but locks it up now for us because now the plus two special defense means that we can't really 
I mean, can we take a ch can we take a rock slide, right? Can we? Because that's all it's going to come down to. Can we take a rock slide? Um, can we take a rock slide? And can two heat waves clear the field? I don't know. It's going to be incredibly close. All we can do is click the heat wave button. Come on, Zard. I haven't brought you very much this season. This is where we need you to do some work and and uh, get the win for us right now. Helping hand coming out. If we can take one of these, that would be amazing. Okay, heat wave coming out. Ah, I don't know if another one's going to be enough. Helping hand boosted as well. I don't know if this is going to be it. Oh, we take it. But the sand, the sand, the sand is going to take us down anyway. So, no good. <sighs> All right. Well, okay. Good game, Rose. Let's go on to game three. Let's go on to game three. And this is where, I mean, this is good for you guys, right? It's terrible for, for us playing it, but great for spectator right now. Um, hmm. What are we going to do? The Excadrill is the big old fat problem for us, isn't it? I think Gothitelle is a big fat problem for us as well. Also, the Volcarona. Huh. <sighs> Do we switch things up with Mimi here? Go Trick Room? Because this, like Talk All in Trick Room is 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 phenomenal, right? We could just go Scrafty Talk All here. Get an Iron Defense up. Like we did game one. It worked so well for us, right? It worked really well for us. It's just the problem is keeping the sun up on the field at that point, right? And I got a feeling that the Gothitelle is gonna outspeed most things. It's just very passive if we lead Scrafty Torkoal. Where well, we could lead potentially Charizard Torkoal, but I mean it's so likely she's gonna lead Aerodactyl, right? She's gonna bring it. Has to. No, I think we got I think we bring Jolteon again, you know, and I think we bring Venu as well. I think we go with what we went with game one. We'll revert back. Although I do feel like Mimikyu could have been very good here as well, but we'll see. Kind of don't want to see the Volcarona, although I do think it's probably going to come out as a lead here. Problem with bringing Charizard when Aerodactyl's coming out every time is like, okay, it's got to tell the next control. Okay, well, we we iron defense and we bulk up. Iron defense and bulk up, hundred percent. Uh, we yawn, we yawn, we yawn. We could protect as well. That would be something. Um, I think you've got to go after Torkoal here. Can we get away with a yawn? And we can bulk up again. No, I think we are in the fence because I think the fact that Scrafty hasn't got protect doesn't make it ideal for us. Oof. Not feeling super good about this. Being trapped in with the Excadrill, with help and hand support next to it. The white herb wasn't something I really uh, accounted for. Let's see. I don't know. Can Torkoal take this? Can it? Can Torkoal take this? We'll go after Scrafty. 
Grafty can take it. Okay, so we get Iron Defense up. I mean, that's huge, huge for us. That's huge for us. That is so big for us, right? We get a Citrus Berry, get a Bulk up. We can max if we want with Scrafty. Go after the Gothitelle. I mean, at some point as well, the Excadrill's got to go max Rockfall, right? I think you probably go. I mean, we could even go for Yawn now. That might even be a good play now into the Excadrill. Yawn, Excadrill. Um, and go Crunch into the Gothitelle. Because maybe you go after... Okay, Steel Spike, going for that. It's fine. Don't think we take that though. Nope. And then the psychic from the Gothitelle, I think, into Torkoal. But if we get the Yawn off, that's pretty huge for us. Shuts that Excadrill down for the rest of the... Well, not the rest of the game, but... Makes it more difficult for it to do anything. But we're kind of locked into going for Venusaur now onto the field, you know? Oh, that psychic does so much damage. So much. Right, and special defense boost, not ideal either but okay. let's see <sighs> gotta go after the gotta go after the gothitelle really haven't we gotta go after it i think if we protect torko here max and sludge bomb it's just psychic Max Quake is going to be quite obnoxious to deal with. But they're going to max Rockfall. 100% max Rockfall. They're going to max Rockfall. So we could... I think we take a max Rockfall with Torkoal as well. Unless they help in hand it. I don't think they do that. I think we yawn into Gothitelle. I think we max... Go max Ooze into Gothitelle as well. I think we double in. Go for the yawn into it. Shut it down. Stop that support line. Excadrill going to be asleep next turn. And then we can just kind of just pick whatever we want off after that. As long as Torkoal can kind of get through this turn. And if not, then we can get the Excadrill the following turn with Venu. And then we've got to hope that we got enough in the tank with what we got left to deal with. Potentially Aerodactyl, Volcarona in the back. But it may not be, may not be those two. Got to go Max Ooze because we need the boost. We need the boost to do the damage that we need onto these Pokemon. Because you've got to remember, there's two Max Quakes come out from this Excadrill right now. Um, Max Rock for... Oh, Max Quake again. Okay. It's fine. And a Psychic, I'd imagine. Now the Excadrill is going to be asleep. Yep. I think we'll take another one of those though. Okay, and Torkoal gets away scot free this turn. Now we can go after the Excadrill. Because we'll take another Psychic. Um, just whether or not we want to go for a Body Press here into the Gothitelle or if we want to protect. But I think you go after. I think you go after Venusaur. I think you go after Venusaur all day long. Whereas we could go for another Iron Defense here. But I think the damage, the extra damage onto the Gothitelle is kind of nice anyway. So I think we go... Yeah, let's go for Max, G-Max Vine Lash into the Excadrill. Yep. That'll be gone in two turns. Let's see, where's the Psychic coming? I mean, it's more useful probably at this point into... Yeah, Torko gets away with it, and we take it with Venu, so that's good. We're going to get one more turn. Get the body press. Should get some nice damage. Stacked up with the G-Max Vine Lash. Oh, it does nothing. It does nothing. Nothing. We'll proc that Citrus Berry now, though. Um, Wow. Wow. And the Gothitelle asleep. So we get a free turn, this last one, where we can go for... Yeah, I think we probably got Max Ooze again. How many turns of sun have we got though? That's the thing. We want to probably go body press max ooze, maybe. How many turns of sun have we got left? 
one. It's not super useful. We've got iron defense again. Um... I think we go Max Vine Lash into Gothitelle. Yeah. An iron defense. We just need the extra damage onto the Gothitelle, to be honest. Like, Gothitelle gonna stay asleep this turn, 100%. And we can protect Torque all the next turn if we need to. Or we could double protect the next turn if we needed to. Get that second iron defense up, so. The Vine Lash will take. The Excadrill down. No, not this turn. Not this turn. It's kind of better if the sun goes away now, honestly. Um, and let's see. Is it going to be enough? It's not going to be enough to get the, the Gothitelle this next turn. I think we've got to Sludge Bomb it. Sludge Bomb the Gothitelle here. Or we could Leaf leaf Storm it. It's just risky because I think that... The, I think we protect Torkoal. Or do we need to protect Torkoal? It's just I don't want to take a Psychic, right? Yeah, we don't want to take a Psychic. So we protect Torkoal, we Sludge Bomb into Gothitelle. That should clear the field. With the G-Max Vine Lash stacked on top of it. And then we got Jolteon. Okay. Do we dodge this? I don't think we do. No. Okay. One last ditch attempt to get an attack off with Excadrill. So... Does wake up. Gothitelle wakes up as well, going for that psychic. Okay, well, that's fine, because Jolteon can take down the Gothitelle this next turn. Excadrill's gone, which makes it a little bit easier for Jolteon to perform. Excadrill's on its last legs, so it does depend on what comes in, obviously. Um, so it makes it a little bit more tricky if you've got something like Vocal Roner in the back, because it can come in and just disrupt. But, I mean, we've got the protection here with, with Jolteon. If it's Aerodactyl, we've got a free one shot. I mean, we can go for the speed tie here. If we get it, uh, if we get, if we win the speed tie, then we're in, we're in the money, you know? But I don't know if we necessarily want to risk it because the huh, thing is, right? If we, we lose the speed tie, we lose the speed tie, then um, they're going to get the tailwind up. Gothitelle gets the psychic off, right? So it doesn't really matter. I think we check the Gothitelle whatever and we go for body press into Aerodactyl. I think Aerodactyl's got to go for a Tailwind. We do win the speed tie there. If it is a speed tie, get the Gothitelle. That makes such a big difference for our Torkoal right now. Because, yeah, the Tailwind, we should be able to get rid of the Aerodactyl and then it comes down to Torkoal versus whatever's left. If it's a Glastria, then we are... We are, we are, we, we're fine. If it's Glastria, if it's Volcarona, it's a little more tricky. Because obviously the body press is not doing as much, but we do have Yawn. So I think we go Yawn into whatever comes in. Could be Lumberry though. But no, not Volcarona, we know. Yeah, so we can... What do you go for if you're Volcarona? I think we go Yawn. Um... Do we just, do we just, do we just go, yeah, I think we just Thunderbolt, I think we just Thunderbolt here. It's going to get a Heat Wave off, has to go Heat Wave. Thankfully the sun's not up, Jolteon takes it, so that's good. Get the Thunderbolt. Get the Yawn. And now we can double protect, it goes to sleep, and then we can lock it up after that and not worry about the tailwind and that will be that hopefully so Jolteon was the right call in the end Charizard would have been a bad call because we would have got decimated by a rock slide um so that wouldn't have been ideal Jolteon is well the MVP of the team is 100% Torkoal Torkoal has carried us in this every match that we've brought it um it's been incredible especially in this last one we've been clicking these yawn buttons a little bit more um but jolteon has definitely done some good work here so is the thunderbolt going to be enough or is toko going to get all the glory <clears throat> thunderbolt probably is going to be enough i think from the previous damage yep okay 
Oh, I can't believe that's that that was such a crazy, crazy match. That was a nuts match. Oh, I can't wait to see it from, from Rose's side of the field. Make sure, like I said at the start of the match, go and check out it from her side. Because I think like how it's come to a game three, it's made for an amazing set. I've had an incredible time playing her. Great game, Rose. Um, and I hope I think there's a chance that Rose will still make the playoffs because I think she's I think we're tying on record now. So there is a chance that she will make it. And I will keep my fingers crossed for her. Um, yeah, check out her side of the match. We finish uh six and four. So I mean we 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 managed to get a win in this last week. It's been super tough. Felt like this has probably been the toughest challenge. And now, friends, we just I need to keep our fingers crossed and hope that we've done enough to get into playoffs. I really want to make the playoffs. I've been having such a blast in the X9 League. It's full of amazing players, amazing people. And I really don't want it to end. So I want it to continue. Let me know down below. No, send some send some positive vibes down below. Send some luck down below. Just send some luck. Anything, anything. Just send luck down below and we might squeeze in. And if we have, we know it's down to your help. And also let me know what your thoughts are on today's game because it would be really great to hear how you thought the battle went. Uh, thank you so much as always for tuning in. We'll be back on the channel soon with more action. If we do make the playoffs, I'll do a quick update video just to let you know the final standards, who's through, what is next in the X9 League and uh, we'll wrap up there. Really good games to Rose once again and I will see you all for another episode very soon. So until then, take care. Bye-bye.